So this is Timber Rain. Trousseau said this town is where they're hosting the coronation. A lot of people are gathering by that castle. Which means that I've made it in time. There is a heaviness in the air. Rain is coming. The heavens are on Trousseau's side. I need to learn my way around this town before it's too late. Hey, Bone Mender. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Casty. Remember me? Master Edmund, what are you doing here? Living is what? Thanks to you, we've been accepted as citizens of Timberade. Today's the coronation, so we're out and forced to celebrate up a storm. A storm, you say? The Prince is big on garish celebrations. People from all over the world have gathered here to join in the fun. Even some Scrivener types from the East. Hmm? Why the frown? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me! An attack on the coronation? Shh! Keep your voice down! So, you believe me? Of Course I believe you. You're running around sticking your nose in other people's business again, trying to save the world, right? You need my help, Bone Mender? You just say the word. Thank you, Master Edmund. On that note, I need you to get all these people far away from here and out of the rain. Huh? How am I supposed to move this many people? Me and my lot aren't sheepdogs, Bone Mender. <sighs> You're right. We don't have the numbers to evacuate everyone. Numbers, eh? I might be able to do something about that. Follow me. Sudden ale. We're all here to toast our new king today. Anyone who doesn't drinks a traitor. And these people are Timberane soldiery. They're all a bunch of lousy drunks, but they'll be positioned all over town once the ceremony starts. That sounds promising. The townsfolk might not listen to us, but they'll listen to the guards for sure. Hey, hold up. What are you... Soldiers of Timber Rain. Oh, hey there. Come to sing us a song, have you? Sorry, no. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. I've come to warn you of a dire threat facing your kingdom. A dire was it? Rain. Purple rain will soon fall across your lands. A terrible blight that will kill all it touches. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> A 
Enough with the bad jokes, girly. Today's a day for celebration, not just in poor taste. This isn't a joke. If we don't get everyone to safety at once, every last person here will die. I will need all of you to assist me if we are to save the lives of your people. Give me a break, deadly purple rain. Where's your proof? <sighs> uh, what's that black mark on your arm? Dunno, but it grosses me out, it does. I was one of many victims of this poisonous rain. Unlike many, I was lucky to escape with my life. My friends and comrades, however, are all dead now. Every last one of them. They saved my life. I'm only standing here today because of their sacrifice. And now, to prevent that tragedy from ever happening again. To save your city and all of your lives. I beg you all to believe me. Lend me your aid, please. Hey, uh, what do you think? <sighs> I want to believe her, but... How in the hells do we know we can trust her? I can't take it anymore. You're all a bunch of spineless good-for-nothing... Huh? Wait a sec. I know you. Friends, we owe these two a tremendous debt. They saved dozens of our comrades during the skirmishing with Sai. Sai? You mean to tell me she's the apothecary that saved my buddies from the sands? Not only that, it's thanks to this apothecary that we could finally make peace with the outsiders. We are soldiers of Timber Rain, renowned for our honor. We cannot ignore this debt. Let us trust this apothecary who saved us once. Let us give her the chance to save us again. You got it. Put down your mugs, everyone, and let's get to work. We're gonna save this town! Thank you, Commander Griff. Get everyone inside! Close the windows! Bar the doors! Don't let the outside air in! It's working. We'll leave the rest to these brave soldiers. In the meantime, I need to stop the rain at its source. Haste is in order. Hold up, Bone Mender. Where do you think you're going? Get inside, quick! Someone needs to stop Trousseau. You know where he is? I have a good idea. Make sure to get yourself inside once you get these people to safety, Master Edmund. Don't die, Bone Mender. Thank you, Master Edmund. I'll try. Now, to find Trousseau. He'll be somewhere high to spread his poison. Somewhere the wind blows strong. The western hills, they fit the bill. And yet, the skies tell another tale. The wind will shift soon. From west to north, 
which means the highest point would be... Timberane Castle. That's where you'll be, Trousseau. Let's play. Gained valuable insight. Time to clean up the filth. My journey will not end here. Time to clean up the filth.
The rain. It's starting to change color. Trousseau. I knew I'd find you here. <clears throat> the poison is taking hold already. <clears throat> Has he found a way to make his toxins more potent? Damn you, Trousseau! I'm coming for you. Study harder. Life is too precious to risk. Now let's grab some food! I've gained valuable insight. Let's play. So Oh, hello there, Chief. I'm surprised to see that you're still with us. I owe everyone my life. Well, it changes nothing. Are you here to watch as another town is swept away by my delicious rain? I won't let you do this. Yes, yes, I saw you guide the sheep into their hovels. Good work. Round of applause. Close the windows or bar the doors. The air will still get in. As long as my precious smoke still rises, those people's lives are forfeit. <sighs> True so. I still held out hope for you. I thought that somewhere deep inside of you, the gentle man you once were still lived. But I was mistaken. Your heart is as black as the foul pestilence you spread. Oh dear. Are you threatening me? Aren't those hands made to save lives, not end them? I'm taking you down. It's the only way to extend a helping hand to all those down below. <sighs> oh, Chief. If 
only you had listened to his words that day. Then you would have gladly joined hands with me to bring salvation to this decaying world. Don't worry, Chief. I'll save you, too. You leave me with no choice, Trousseau. you understand? Think of the pain of losing the one you love. The horror of knowing that one day you will die. What worth is there in a life painted with pain and bitter regret? Life may have its painful and bitter moments, but there's always hope. The hope to end pointless conflict. The hope to tell your daughter how much you care. It is our mission as apothecaries to ensure that everyone lives long enough for their hopes to become reality. Even if it costs us our own lives. Ah, Chief. Look at you. So filled with futile suffering. Let me extend my hand to you and grant you salvation. Cleanse the taint on you, this town, on everyone, with the sweet purity of death! Now die! 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 Drops. The flower Malaya gave me. But this poison rain afflicts people with so many disparate ill effects. It seems impossible to create one medicine to cure them all. And yet, I must. I'm the only one who can do it. Casty. Malaya? How? Remember, Casty. Remember? Remember what? Your journey. Every road you've walked has led to this moment, to this cure. My journey. Pure balm. To cleanse befouled waters. Scale bark leaf. To gift Rosa the time she needed. Santa Nejo blossom. To save Sally's life. And Sky Bomb. And finally, the snowdrop entrusted to me by you. Casty, I know you can do it. I can. I must. Yeah. <laughs> 
here goes nothing. Pure bomb. Scale bark leaf. Sky bomb. Santanejo blossom. And finally, snowdrop petals. I've never made any medicine like this before. There's no guarantee it will work. Or that it's safe. I'll just have to test it. On myself. What to do, what to do. I'll pour my soul into this cure! Respiration steady. The bleeding is slowing too. I can feel the numbness fading as well. And of greatest import, the black swellings are gone. All the symptoms are cured. Thank you, Malaya. I did it. Just like you said I could. I found a cure for Trousseau's poison rain. one hand to take life in order to save a thousand with the other. <laughs> you haven't changed a whit, Chief. Not since I first met you. You haven't changed at all. Returning to normal. Casty! Master Edmund! Am I glad to see you? Enough about me. The town? We got pretty much everyone to safety in time. There were some stragglers, though. They're all fighting for their lives against that poison. <coughs> Damn. Looks like I inhaled some of that smoke myself. Take this, Master Edmund. Sure. Wait. Don't tell me this is... It is... a cure. Incredible. We'll be able to save everyone with this stuff. Indeed. Now hurry. Every second counts. You got it. <laughs> hey. 
Edmund, over here! Our bone mender's back. Everything's gonna be fine. Can you help them, Casty? Of course. I'll get right to work. Easy there. It'll be all right. should be everyone. I did it, Malaya. Everyone. I... saved them. Malaya. <laughs> Did I live up to your expectations? I'd say you did, and then some. You saved a lot of people's lives. Thank you, Chief. I'm sure the others feel the same. <sighs> Casty. I'm so very tired. I'd like to rest, Chief. Lend me a helping hand? Good night, Malaya. Good night, all of you. Morning, Bone Mender. <clears throat> what? While you were snoozing, we had ourselves a coronation. I must have been out for a long time. The townsfolk? See for yourself. Excuse me, are you the apothecary everyone's talking about? Ha, ah, I'm a scrivener. I write stories for a gazette, the Delsta Times. I hear you saved the lives of all the good people of Timberane. Do you have any message to share with the world? Uh, you 
say I saved them? No. It wasn't just me. We saved them. Heirs, apothecaries.